Breslow back here with you and today's golf tip I want to talk about one of the number one things that golfers experience and the number one thing that teaching pros tell me prevent golfers from learning more quickly and taking the information they're teaching them and have it occur more quickly in their game and that is it's a word you've heard before tension so this is a tension rater drill this is something you can do on your own at the driving range here's how it works you take 10 balls. That's all you need to do is hit 10 balls. If you want to hit more, that's okay. But you hit each ball one at a time. And after each shot, I want you to rate the tension level in a certain area of your body. So be specific. Pick an area. Is it the shoulders? Is it the hands? Is it the arms? Is it the hips? Is it the legs? Is it the face? Find the area of tension that you already know you have and focus on one area at a time. So here's how it works. Let's pick the hands. Let's say the hands are the area that you're going to focus on. So you drop a ball, you take your regular golf swing, and we're not concerned about results here. This is where a lot of golfers get hung up. They hit a shot and they start reacting to whether they like the shot or they didn't like the shot. That's not part of this drill. We don't really care about the results for once. All you're doing is focusing on physical tension in the hands. Ten means you have a lot of tension. One means you have very little tension. That's all you're doing, one to ten. So you hit a shot and you immediately rate the tension level. There's no thinking, there's no analyzing, there's nothing to process. You do it immediately. Hit the ball, tension level, eight. Great, okay. Now you put another ball in position, you take your swing, hit another one, rate that tension. Eight again, okay. So the idea of this drill is, if you're up at a seven, eight, nine, or 10, the idea is on the next ball, to try to slow yourself down, slow your mind down, breathe into the area of your body where you're having the tension, and take your same swing, and then rate that tension level. Now here's what happens. One of the great things about this exercise is it's something you can duplicate out on the golf course, which is really cool. If you have an eight, eight, seven, eight, seven, six, six, seven, four, which is great, if you get down into the two, three, four area, what generally happens to golfers is they try to duplicate that on the next shot, try to get another two, three, or four. That's a big, big mistake. You cannot do that on the golf course either. When you hit a great shot, something that feels really good, you do not want to duplicate the result. You want to duplicate what got you there. What was it that got you that two, three, or four? What did you do? Did you slow down? Did you talk to yourself? Did you relax that area of your body? Did you breathe into it? What did you do? Do that again. Then take your swing and then rate yourself again. But the numbers will vacillate. That's normal. You'll, you'll be high maybe at first and then you'll be in the middle area and then you'll, maybe you'll drop down a little bit into the two, three, fours and that's great. Then you may go up to the six or seven and then back down. That's the idea of the drill to get you really aware of the tension level in your body. Get away, get your head away from the results. Not important in this drill. Not important at all. So it's really a great drill to do. If you want to do more than 10 balls, that's great. But do at least 10, one at a time, rating your tension level from one, which is really light and loose, to 10, which is really uptight and heavy. And watch what happens as you do this. You will start to be so much more aware of your own tension level on the golf course that you'll be able to start reducing it on your own because you've done it already at the range. Really cool exercise. Give it a try. Tension Raider Drill. Dave Breslow, great to be with you again. And please, once again, as always, leave me a message. Would love to talk to you through cyberspace. It's great. Love it when we get the messages and are able to correspond with you through cyberspace. So good luck to you. Have a great next round of golf. Dave Breslow, talk to you soon. Take care.